All right, so we're back in tape success. We're on page 61, and we're going to talk about regrouping to subtract fractions. First, let's chat about regrouping. So imagine, if you will, you have two pizzas. One of them has not been cut. One of them has been cut into fourths. Now, I think you would agree that you have a total of two pizzas, but there's different ways you can express that. You can express that, of course, as two. I have two pizzas. You could also express it as I have one pizza. Here's the one. And over here, I have four fourths of a pizza. See, I've divided this pizza into fourths, and I have all the pieces. So I have four fourths. So one and four fourths is equal to two. They're basically one and the same. Now that comes in handy a little further down the road. Another example, one, two, three, four, five, and you could think of this as six, or again with the one fourths, you could think of that as five and four fourths. Here, if you think of it as one, two, and of course a half, or, I'm sorry, let's do something here. Let's do something to this guy. Watch this. We could also think of him as, I can get him erased. There we go. We could split him in two, and I'd have one half and one half. And now instead of two and a half, I could also express this as one and three halves. And two and a half and one and three halves are the same thing. Now, important thing to remember, one is the same thing as six over six. One is the same thing as four over four. In fact, one can be anything over anything as long as the same two numbers that you would like it to be. Oh, let me see. What do we got going on here? Now, I tell you what. Let's get really tricky. Let's borrow one from this side and put it over here. Now, I'm going to change that one to six over six. And I'm going to add it there. So I can change 2 to 1 and 1 sixth. Here, I could take away 1, and I could put it there. 4 over 4, which is equal to 1. I could borrow 1 here and go 3 over 3. Now you may ask yourself, why is that handy? Well, it comes in handy. Look. 3 minus 1 and 1 6, you have nothing to subtract here. But we can borrow 1, move it over there, and ah, I think you can see how that comes in handy. Here, we'll borrow 1, and that's 8 over 8. So 8 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 9 over 8. And again, I think you can see how that's going to come in handy. So your assignment, you've got page 61 to do. And use your regrouping.